Hi, everybody. Morning, afternoon, evening. <clears throat> it is time for the 959. We're pushing in on day 640 or so. Someone will tell me. But uh, for the moment, it is up to Bradley Beck to show up and say something intelligent. The successful man will profit from his mistakes and try again in a different way. Dale Carnegie. Joe Williams, who sent me the audio file for, for Direct Line, and I'm listening to it again. It's just wonderful. It's not cool. It's wonderful. Unbelievable what resurgence can come by reliving past positive things. So I got an email. I got an email in the mail. An email in the mail. I got an email telling me that if I would just download this sales conversation intelligence playbook, that I would be a better salesperson as a result of it because these people are the sales enablement market leaders. Maybe I'm stupid, but if I make friends with somebody and I provide value beyond my price and I'm truthful and I'm service oriented and I'm looking to build a relationship, what the hell else do I have to enable? And why is it so complicated? I, I feel like it's complicated so these people can have a product to sell. They make it complicated. It's simple. You make friends, you provide value beyond price, you look for a long-term relationship, and you win. And if you can't win, you're talking to the wrong people. You're talking to somebody that can't decide what color toilet paper to buy without asking their daddy. And I'm... I'm perplexed. I see words like onboarding, and I realize that these are the same people that have sales enablement. It's not bullshit, but it's very close. It's very close. So I'm hoping that someone can enlighten me. Am I like so far off base that I have no idea what I'm talking about? <laughs> can someone point to a sales enablement blog post or something that will define what it is so that I can wrap my arms around it and understand it? Am I too old world for this shit? I, I don't know. I'm New York City. If you walk in, you got 10 seconds. You don't tell me about my enablement program or my onboarding program. You get to the facts. And you don't send me an email. You show up or you call me. Just saying. So, um, I'm in the positive state. I'm trying to like say all this with a smile. <laughs> Our Christmas shopping is pretty well done. That's pretty cool. Um, it's been a very interesting year. It's been a time to rejoice and say thank you. I'm looking forward to the next year because I think it'll be more open. Some places are trying to close it down again, but they, they, they ain't going to work. People are fucking tired of it. And they're tired of the people trying to tell us what's wrong. It's they're, We're tired. Sorry, we're tired. We live on the only surface. We live at only the surface of our powers. We are like a man who inherits <clears throat> a house with great treasures in its cellar but who spends its days in bitter poverty because it never goes down to the cellar to find out the wealth that's waiting for him. We say we stay, so to speak, on the ground floor and never explore ourselves in depth. The power is within us. Whoa. Elmer Letterman, brilliant quote. Go down to the basement, go up to the attic, get in the roof. Well, don't get on the roof. You know what I mean. Get outside your comfort zone. I'm having, 
I'm not a big outdoor adventure person. I'm not an ex-sports guy. With one of our friends at the beach is a, an outdoor team building rah-rah guy who loves doing that kind of stuff is a kayaker. I'm not. I'm I'm more docile. And he went to get together over the holiday and said, well, let's have an adventure. Let's have an outdoor adventure where we can walk all the way from our car to Pappy's, the restaurant at the beach, <laughs> which I thought was funny, but he hasn't responded yet. He hasn't given me the ha ha. You know what I mean? That that thing that's there. Um, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, that's a good one. All I know is, friend, you're free to pick on me. Just know this. How many lessons you need to learn? <laughs> exactly. Good evening, Toru. Top five. Benner, the morning of December 17th, 1903, Wilbert and Orville Wright, oh, wow, took turns piloting and monitoring their flying machine in Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Orville piloted the first flight that lasted 12 seconds and 120 feet. On the fourth and final float flight of the day, Wilbur, Wilbur traveled 852 feet, remaining airborne for 59 seconds. That morning, the Wright brothers became the first people to demonstrate sustained flight of a heavier-than-air machine under the complete control of the pilot. Um, there were no flight attendants. There were no mask mandates. There were no, well, we know we're not doing this for COVID principles. I saw where American Airlines is finally figuring out that masks are bullshit. We'll see. We will see. Good morning, Duncan. Cows, after you've seen one of them, are boring. A purple cow, though. Seth Godin. Yep. <clears throat> Howdy. Howdy. Beautiful day for a walk in Charlotte. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be walking today for sure. Belgium has checked in. Battleground Washington has checked in. Just a moment. Just for a moment. Imagine knowing your clients so well that you anticipate their needs before they do. Larry Levine, good friend, great guy. Morning from Los Angeles. <laughs> Coachman, good morning. Another California dude. Another California woman. The great Renee Gordon. It is bullshit. Thank you very kindly. Joaquim, I have one confirmation. <laughs> you know, I um, I meditated this morning. And I've been meditating since the 80s. I got my mantra, that kind of thing. And um, once you get back into meditation, which I'm getting back into it, you crave it. And this morning I learned about um, the concentration gym where you go and you fixate yourself on something and you get new ideas as a result of it because you're relaxed and the ideas just kind of pop up. It's pretty cool. I'm into concentration. I think that it is one of the single biggest missing keys in not just salesmanship, humanity. Because as a rule, the people of this world do not. They're more interested in what's on Netflix um, and talking about who struck John. Just saying. Big Tom. Amen. I feel like I haven't sold anything in over 10 years. I serve my customers. Exactly. Exactly. I Earning unsolicited referrals. Boom. New York City, yes. Hi, Cindy. 
Read the lay of the land. Yep. During my latest reading of Get Shit Done, <laughs> I realized it's the best of the best of Jeffrey's books and still learn something new every time. Um, Get Shit Done is really fucking good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I give it away all the time. People love it. Greetings from Mount Pleasant. You know, Mount Pleasant is one of the top 10 fastest growing cities in this country. Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, top 10. Just saying. Yep. People will never forget how you made them feel. It's the, <laughs> it's the cousin of horseshit. Yeah, it's close. Always talk with the organ grinder, never the monkeys. <laughs> you know what, good one? That's fucking funny. That's great. I, I totally love that. Give us an update on your brother. Inquiring minds want to know and pray. Please. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Craig Hall from Canada somewhere. I never lose. I either win or learn. Manipulative sales techniques will get you some sales, but very few long-term customers. No argument. Another Cindy quote, people don't want to talk on phone anymore, but I'm old school and still call. You can be, I call people all the time. Tim, success to you, bud. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you the story one day about how that came up. Who said, if you want to sell in volume, you must prospect in volume and present in volume? That idea was a driver for me before I had a reputation in my field. Um, I don't know who said it, but I don't think I'm in total agreement with it. We'll, we can talk about it later. Instagram is all selling now. Yeah, I just bought something on Instagram this morning. I'm a sucker for Instagram shit. I bought a shower head that increases the pressure. It's only 40 bucks. Even a fool when he keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he's considered prudent. Classic. Thanks for this, boss. I needed to hear this. We've removed humanity from sales. Right. I, I don't want to put my future clients in a funnel. I'm not making mincemeat or sausages. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Totally agree. We're tired. Isn't that crazy? Memphis, good morning. Do we serve you well, Martin? I want to know. Damn, that's good formula for winning sales. Make friends, service-oriented, long-term relationship, value greater than price. Of course. Lewis, by the way, brilliant. Lewis, has, can you put your book in the chat so people can click on it and buy it? If you're looking for something to read over the holidays, this is the book. Louis Giannis is one of the smartest money people I've ever encountered. And I would challenge you, encounter his book as fast as you can. <clears throat> I agree, Cindy. You're in it, honey. Yeah. God's morning to you too, Eric. Don't measure yourself by what you've accomplished, but by what you should have accomplished with your ability. John Wooden. Love John Wooden. Loved John Wooden. Don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. Robert Kiyosaki. Actually, written by Sharon Lecter, but that's a whole other story. Good morning, Jeffrey, in the community from Orlando. Mankind was my business. Their common welfare was my business, Jacob Marley. Oh, cool. 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 
Everyone's healing. I love it. David, happy holidays to you too. I like to say Merry Christmas. That's just me. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Joachim is very English brilliant. I mean, very English brilliant. The hardest thing you can do is make humor in another language. The hardest. So I'm going to say Joachim is fluent. And even um, Thomas Ackerman, also fluent. Merry Christmas to you too, Jason. Good evening, Toru. Of course, I, I love Toru. I'm bombarded with lame sales approach from lead generation experts that haven't been in the game for eight months. Exactly. Unreal. It's just totally, totally stupid. Why do people do this? Who have no background and success whatsoever. Terrence, we will finish strong. And Peoria is here. Home of Caterpillar. Chris, Yardley on the Delaware. Dude, Philippines. Awareness is not really about power. It's about self-respect. It's about standing up for what you believe in and what you want. Dale Carnegie training no dale carnegie um hey you guys i think we can do monday night at loopies if you're in let me know jason i'll rely on you to get the group together but i also want to get a couple of people from srs um so let's let's see what we can do let's try it out give me a buzz rusty allen good morning from madison wisconsin home of the university of wisconsin where my mom went to school some of the time. I'd like to say I'm a positive state. Texas, actually, we're all in a positive state. Yeah. God bless you, Eric. Good job, bud. Good job. Pleasure. Morning, Cynthia. Yeah, I meditate every day, mostly. It's it's according to world law, wherever that comes from, it should be 20 minutes. Um, I have misplaced my wooden beads and I do not know where they are. Where you say your mantra over and over uh, for a period of time. I'm just listening to I the the app I listen to is Calm, C-A-L-M. It's really good. And it's really, really good. Richard Perry, I have not read your book yet. And I apologize. I have a stack of books. I will, I will play. Mary Hart, oh, Eric's giving us some little proverbs here. Stay joyful. Yep, I love being joyful. Yes, Attitude is his best book. Thank you, Chris. If you if you give, never mind, never, if you give, never remind, if you receive, never forget. Whoa. <clears throat> Damn. Ari, stay healthy, my friend. Stay healthy. Classic line, though. It's a classic line. I have a question. I absolutely love sales. I love the rebuttal process, and I love closing. I get adrenaline rush from it. Do you think this backfires? No. Is in your heart, this is the secret of sales. Pay close attention. 
If you believe that the customer is better off having purchased from you in your heart, then you can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. You can act however you want. Because when they buy, the customer wins. Well, there you go. I got up early and made banana bread loaf for half a dozen clients today. I go bananas over them. Cool. Cool. That's great. Mother-in-law, Ernie Cato. It's you, and I don't know who you is. Flow follows focus. Flow follows focus. Boom. I love smiling for a self-made self picture. Now called selfies. <clears throat> The language of the world has changed. Some of us have changed with it. Some of us will never, ever go. Um, <sighs> Happy holidays. We got this. No, Merry Christmas. You got it, you guys. The brilliance from hell. Agreed. I totally agree. Please go to, oh, here we go. Signed hardcover of my book. Whoa. This is cool. Now you're talking. Just go, just go there, please. <laughs> I'm going to make sure. And this is something, you guys, you're Santa Claus. Give yourself this gift, please. I don't tout other people's stuff unless I know it's gold. I finished a thousand clowns. Funny. Where is she? She's in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Really? She's in the closet. There's so many funny lines. You can never have too many eagles. Come on. It's very, very funny. A thousand clowns is good. That's all I'm saying. My personal favorite movie. There you go. Jump the line. Go for it, Dylan. I own my copy. Arlington Heights here. Future home of the Bears. <laughs> really? They're not going to play in Soldier Fields? Soldier Fields? That's a sacrilege. Oh, yeah, Monday night. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll try. Try, 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 try. I'm I'm here. Um, I'm not sure what's on my schedule, but I should be able to make it. So let's try for it. Cool? All right, cool. Let's go. I have some. Thank you. I always say that in my introduction to prospects, I'm from Peoria, Illinois, home of Richard Pryor and Caterpillar. <laughs> Classic. Good morning, Dylan. Good morning, Benner. Oh, my gosh. I'll look it up. Something about his dog is always hanging out. It's a German expression. I'll find out. His tail's always wagging. I'm not really sure. Come on. What is it, Mark? Mediate in a sauna every morning. Oh, meditate in a sauna every morning. Cool. Cool. Going through the book of Hebrews this month. Um, I'm assuming you bought it wholesale. 
That's how the Hebrews operate, but we'll see. Calm, yeah, we call it simmer down. Yep. Yep. That's it. Jennifer, thank you for answering. My pleasure. I always answer. Put your foot on the gas. For every one sale you miss because you're too enthusiastic, you miss 100 because you weren't enthusiastic enough. Exactly. <clears throat> the strength which holds you to your purpose is not your own strength, but the strength of the purpose itself. Unknown blessings. Cool. I love people who live by purpose. <sighs> Oklahoma home got blown away. Bruce Springsteen's fine. He just sold his book of business for $500 million. JG, can you put that quote up about sales? It's timeless. My guy, believe in the customer. Um. God, it's way back here, it's way, way back. Let me get through the end. I'll try to find it. That's why I can market one of the toughest things on the planet to sell because exactly, exactly. They're better with life insurance. Actually, Gregory, they're better off with you. Insurance just happens to be what you convey. You're the reason they buy. If you're not in the business of being in the people business, you have no business being in business. I agree. Fuller, good quote. Just need 99 red balloons. Chargers Chiefs fourth quarter. Oh my God. That whole thing was amazing. Um, great game. Patrick Mahomes is back. They will, if they won't win the Super Bowl, they'll be vying for it. Dallas will not. English translation. My dog used to chase after people on a bike until I took away his bike. <laughs> that is hysterical. I'm sending that to Jen. That's funny. That's hysterical. Um, it's totally hysterical. Uh, it's crazy. It's totally crazy. Let's go with Jenny here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My dog used to. It's a classic. It's a classic. A Thousand Clowns book or movie? Movie. Movie, 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 movie. It was actually a play, but movie. Good morning, Jeffrey. Happy day from Leesburg, Virginia. Jim. Happy birthday to you, too, my buddy. Hello from Exton, Pennsylvania, Carl. Way to produce humor in a different language. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's unbelievable. Hot Rod Lincoln. Be yourself. Nobody can copy it. Yep. Um, Oscar Wilde, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Whoa. Oscar Wilde. What a dude. It's a function of doing numerous things right. Sales is an outcome, not a goal. I concur. We love the app Calm. It helped me through surgery. Oh, cool. Cool. Very well done. I love that. Sell value, not cost. I don't know if this is the right time or not, but I just wanted to tell you that your books... The Little Red Book of Selling, 
the sales Bible, influenced me in my early sales career and later helped me define my own sales program for my own company where I trained a couple of hundred salespeople. You're still on my bookshelf. Lower the boom. <laughs> you did fine. Jennifer, good job. Very good job. The game was epic. I agree. Eagles may beat Washington if their running game holds out. So, you know what? Let me tell you a secret about the Eagles. It doesn't matter. The season's over. Lamborghini doesn't advertise on television because their clients don't watch TV. <laughs> that is a statement all by itself. That is funny and true. It's so good, I'm saving it. So there you go. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Oh, my gosh. Um, Jason, that, that's a hell of a statement. Mom told me to stop watching The Three Stooges because I grow up to be silly. I told her, why soy me? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Listening to Hendrix play and sing like a Rolling Stone, the man defined rock. Yeah, he's definitely unbelievable. So um, that's where we're at. Let me try to find... I possibly can, what someone put on at the very beginning. Um, maybe gone already. Maybe. There you go. That's the formula. If you outvalue the other guy, you're going to win. If you out friendly the other guy, you're going to win. If, they, if the customer believes you, they like you, and they believe you, and they have confidence in you, and they trust you, then they may buy from you. Otherwise, they will not buy from you. They'll ask for a proposal or some bullshit. Lewis, I hope everyone buys your book. Buy Lewis Giannis's book. That's in order. Just do it for yourself. Please, 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 please do it for yourself. Please. Um, if you don't do it for yourself, no one else will. If you don't do it for yourself, no one else will. I'm just, I'm challenging you. This is your time. Go do it. I'm going to leave you with Lewis. Take care of yourselves. Go shopping. Have fun. Buy something nice for yourself first because you are Santa Claus. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9.59. Cheers. Loopy's on.